chances are if you've clicked this video you have eaten a little bit too much January and particularly the start of the year is a really great opportunity for me to talk about detoxing a word that's a little bit dread and a little bit hated by healthy people I personally don't think it's unhealthy to detox what? if it's done the right way way a lot of people like you smart people people that are healthy are interested into that topic so i think it's a very relevant and important topic to talk about it's pretty normal to be willing to feel better after eating a lot of food during a short period of time which is usually what happens at the end of the year to get healthier again to get a healthy gut system a healthy system in general a healthier skin and all that. I'm going to share with you all my steps that I do for a detox day or few detox days. If you enjoy that kind of content, that kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed already, please do because you're a nice person, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> Siri answered, so you have to subscribe. <laughs> Let's jump right in. Step number one, take a deep breath. Just remember the good times you had, those good food, those good meals, those good moments and memories you've built, lathers around your chocolate, your biscuit, everything was so nice. Just remember this as a positive experience. And you know, as you exhale everything, just exhale all the negativity that you're holding on to. I know that you might feel shitty right now, but it's just a short period of time and you should not let this feeling kind of lessen all the good times that you had. Those food you ate were really yummy. They were really good for your soul, really good for you. Now that it's done, keep it in the past. Let's move on to step two. Step two is about being a visionary, visioning the detox itself, the process that you're gonna go through. What is what a is detox? Exactly? The detox that I'm gonna teach you or like I'm gonna talk to you about is absolutely not about losing weight. Please. We're in 2020. We've got to stop associating detox with losing weight. If you've gained a few kilos over the holidays, it's not the end of the world at all. This detox is going to last for maybe two, three, four max days. And I don't want you to lose two, three, four kilos in four days. Detox is not about losing weight. It's not about healing an eating disorder. No. The detox that I want to tell you about is feeling good, feeling better. If you feel a bit sluggish and if you feel like your digestion is not good and if you feel like your skin is breaking out, this is a detox that's going to help you. Hey, this is me editing and I've just noticed that I might have sounded a little bit negative about weight loss and I don't think there's anything wrong in weight loss at all. It is just that this video is not intended for you to lose weight. But I'm going to put some resources that you can check out in the description box if losing weight is something that you want to do. Also, it's 6am, so sorry for my voice and let's move on. I want you to think about health rather than any other physical aspect. Obviously, this detox will help you to get where you want to go. What we're going to focus on now is cleaning the liver, the kidney that are a little bit overloaded. This is a big picture. Now that you have step two in mind, let's move to step three. Okay, so it wouldn't be a detox without exercise. And it's again not about burning out the calories, it's about feeling better. I'm not telling you to do a very difficult workout, guiding you or encouraging you to do an activity that will kind of increase your heart rate a little bit, maybe you sweat a little bit. This is just so that your body kind of flushes everything it will really support your detox that you're gonna go through with your food but yeah let's move to step four in step four we get grocery shopping my favorite part i'm gonna tell you what i shop for the detox what you should focus your basket or your cart on <laughs> really 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 highly focus on plant-based meals if you're eating uh, meat and egg no judgment here but i think you should really limit those because they're really hard to digest and they're just not gonna do good to your body you can live off plants for your whole life 
you can live off plants for two to three days. You'll make it. Now, what should you buy? About 60% of my basket or my expenses are fruits and vegetables. I really focus on the greens, lettuce or spinach or kale, leek. Then the other parts should be grains such as quinoa, buckwheat, oats, rice. Again me, I also eat legumes such as lentils, chickpeas and red kidney beans. And then seeds and nuts, but not too much. I'll talk about fats in a minute. Obviously, you want to avoid things like sweets and oily and deep fried food and processed food. I mean, that's very logical. I would avoid things that are natural, organic, that are processed. Flavored tofu, smoked tofu, or mock meat, things like that. Vegan cheese, vegan ricotta, even plant-based milk that are bottled. Sauce, tomato sauce with a lot of salt, a lot of things. Those things contain additives so that they can stay on the shelf for longer. And obviously those additives are not natural things that we should eat. In a detox phase, you should really just eat very very natural plain food i'll show you how to make them flavorful in another video but focus natural plain kind of raw unprocessed and you should be good step five is finally about what you are going to be eating so there are a few things that i kind of restrict myself from eating but this is absolutely not a long-term healthy lifestyle it's more because i know it's a short period of time and it will do more good for my body and help my body and support my body to get better rather than harming myself from restricting myself you know what i mean first of all i always listen a lot to my hunger and my appetite. If I'm out of a very, very heavy eating period of time, most of the time I'm actually not that hungry and I end up eating maybe two meals a day for a couple of days and sometimes it's completely the opposite. I'm still always very hungry and I still eat three or more meals a day. So it really depends, but the first thing I do is listening to my hunger. I only start eating in my day when I get hungry. Sometimes this is 8 a.m. or 7 a.m. and sometimes it's not before 11 a.m. So yeah, it's something that I do all year round, but particularly for the detox. Another rule that I do and I practice is mindful eating. I'm pretty bad at this <laughs> most of the time. I have my phone in my hand or I have something else in my mind and I eat very fast. Your digestion start with your sight and just loving your food and being appreciative of the food and actually knowing where like it's coming from. Make sure you cook with love and you know you're you have like a more appreciative sense of your food. Now let's get into the actual food rule. During that time I restrict any sugars that are added, even if it's coconut sugar, maple syrup. I eat fruits but I don't eat like that kind of sugars. Biscuits, chocolate. I do have raw cacao nibs but not chocolate. All the obvious things. I really don't eat them at all. As I said, I eat very, very natural and plain things. So whole foods, grains, nuts, fruits, vegetables. Super duper simple meals. Except if they're smoothies, then I throw a bunch of things in there. <laughs> but if it's like a salad, I'm not gonna add a hundred different toppings on top of it. Yeah, I want my digestion to be really easy. Combining a lot of food can make it heavy. The one thing I take care of is not to overdo it with fats and particularly overt fats which are nuts and seed and nut butters, avocados, even oil because our liver and our kidney which are basically the organs that filter everything are already working a lot because we've been eating a lot. Keep tuned for my next video, what I eat in a day on a detox day so that you have clear examples of what I've just mentioned before. Step number six is pretty much optional. I just thought it's worth a mention here. There are some plants that are actually really helping in the promotion of a healthy liver and kidney and are actually really helping in detoxifying those organs. Things like nettle and milk, thistle, 
<laughs> How do you say this? Black radish, artichoke, uh, selenium, which is good to uh, cut free radicals in your body. There's also some spices that are good for digestion, such as fennel, uh, cardamom, and a few others. Either you can buy them, either you can take supplements that have all these things. I personally take a supplement, but just note that it's not a necessary step for your detox, but I find it's helping me a lot, especially living in a city like Paris. There's a lot of pollution and, you know, heavy metals stay in our body. Almost forgot to tell you, of course, <laughs> the major thing that you can do to assist your detox is rest and sleep well. It's very important, especially now, so your body can recover, as well as drinking water and limiting any caffeine and things like that. So hydrate, 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 and that's all. A few of the tips that I've mentioned today are from Follow Your Gut by Holistic Lemon and Rebalance Protocol by Sammy Bloom. And those are two eBooks that are included in the Vegan Bundle. If you haven't seen my latest video, the Vegan Bundle is a big, big bundle of 60 eBooks, including two of mine, The Mindful Life and Where's Your Protein? And basically, there's our 60 ebooks about the vegan lifestyle, whether it is about overcoming emotional eating, other detox method, gaining muscle on a vegan diet, raising kids on a vegan diet, tons and tons of recipes. And this bundle is worth over $1,500. But today and until the 9th of January, it's on sale for only $50. So I'll put the link below and make sure you check it out. And please use my link if you're about to purchase appreciate it. That being said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and stick around for the next video. All right, I've taken it off. My mouth is dry. I need to drink with my hydro flask. <laughs> Goodbye.